I'm joined by Casually Explained in uh, a match not seen in many years, mostly because he hasn't been playing StarCraft or show matches. But uh, Pult versus Puck, talk about Pult. Just talk about Pult, whatever you want to say. Um, Pult, I love Pult. I just remember um, back in the day when I was watching, playing a lot of StarCraft, Pult was just winning everything. The World best American player there ever was. He really is. <laughs> exactly, that's exactly right. But he's just, I mean, I always remember him as a player who was always everywhere on the map, sniping your next assist, making your day a little bit sad. Making is it Nexuses or Nexi? Um, I think, I, I'm going to guess that both are valid. That's my guess. If you went up onto the, the dictionaries, they'd be like, both are valid. Is it but dictionaries? That's all that I, got. <laughs> all I right. have no idea. Someone can check it for us. Fact check, please. Uh, tweet at me, as Tastosa said. But Polt is back after a stint in the military where he cosplayed in a CV. Uh, and he's been playing for a couple months. He actually turned down show matches. Oh, like, plenty of money, of course. It's Polt who's also made hundreds of thousands, so I don't know how much of a dent that's making, but he turned them down because he said he didn't feel comfortable. <laughs> like, he doesn't want... He wants to show good games for the fans, essentially. But mm -hmm. he's playing Puck now, so... I gotta say, like, Puck's the kind of guy who puts on good games for the fans, but, like, maybe not even on purpose, you know? His play that's style just, is just so just wacky. <laughs> that, um... I mean, he's going core first here. Um, I think that's... No, core he's not gonna make Zealot or anything. Um, that's right. Yeah, he's just going to be making, um, playing a little bit extra safe there in case he's get, get that Reaper out. Going to get a unit out to fend it away. Then, um, Bolt just going through the reactor. Nothing too, nothing too unusual so far that I can tell. Well, I, I remember, Pult, oh, that's a 2-1-1. Yeah, he's, he's using the throwback styles. It's always interesting mm. when players come back. Like, Parting came back. He's like, no, 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 Immortal Sentry in PvZ. And now, <laughs> and now everybody's yeah, like, oh, yeah. Now. Immortal Sentry, pretty good. Yeah, well, you might even get some damage in with this uh, Reaper here. No, Puck with the good little Proby Micro. He might get one. And nope. they're not banking up Bring minerals like many of the replays we saw. No, nope, they're still hitting their builds. Um, do you see Puck going for the fast Sentry? This has become a lot more popular recently, too. People just like getting the hallucinate, hallucination across the map, especially in a situation like this where Pulse is going for like a two, you know, like you're saying a two one one. It's a little bit unorthodox, and like having that extra fast scouting information is like pretty. You're pretty happy with that. Yeah, and and the sentry first become a little bit more popular with like the blink builds that you want to take a third and have scouting, but robo doesn't really work in as easily because uh, it's mm -hmm. pretty costly early on. Pulse. Now, the 2 one one was kind of phased out of style because there's just so much that slows it down that by the time it can actually hit, it usually doesn't have the momentum. Against Zerg, it's a lot more effective because Zerg doesn't have the map control early on that Protoss can. But losing the Adept early to the Marines, that means Puck doesn't have as much as he would have, and, and every Marine's going to... Wait, 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 wait. He's just building a Cyclone. Okay, never mind. It's not a All standard 2-1-1. Right. Yeah. All right. I mean, it also it also kind of sucks for Puck. I think like when he you know having the adept there lets you kind of shade up and see what's going on just at the 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 ramp. And it's like he didn't really even see the reactor, meaning he doesn't know. Oh, I guess you know he's got it with the hallucination. What am I talking about? I take everything back. He's yeah, gonna he, see everything. It's gonna. He be saw fine. the tech lab building, so I feel like Puck's gonna be a little confused as to what this is. He sends out another hallucinated phoenix. I'm gonna get a confirmation. This should tell him everything he needs to know. This mm -hmm. is just a very safe three racks opener, where instead of going for like Hellion Harass or a Cloak Banshee or something, you just get a bunch of bio. Out. So it's a, a much more direct three racks play, I guess. Yep, and then Puck's just taking his extra gases, the natural, he's getting Blink, and he's getting the uh, Robo Facility. So this looks like very standard to me, like about as standard as you can possibly get. Um, nothing unusual. Yeah, he's skipping the third. All. Well, I guess seeing two racks early, a third is very risky against potential stim timings. So. Uh, yeah, I feel like just getting a few extra stalkers out is not bad, but we'll see what happens here. He might walk up the ramp and eat a few shots, but... He uh, won't make that mistake. Well, once Blink is done, he probably will. But he might walk it. up, eat a few shots, and kill a Cyclone somehow. Like, <laughs> that's also a thing that he would do. Yeah, 13 Ooh, seconds on nope. Blink. He's really, I think he's trying to bait out like any mines or anything at the top of the ramp. How does he know? Mm -hmm. How does he know? 
Oh, what was that? What was green. that? What is this? <laughs> Both players oh, are no. streaming, so you can watch all their map hacks live. <laughs> Jesus. That was perfect timing on Puck. I don't understand how he timed that out, but he did. That was really good, yep. Was Five good. Marines for free. Away. And and perfect scouting. Like, What are these three? Yeah. Okay, well, this might make up for it. What are you doing here, Stalkers? Why are you here? Or, yeah. Who's been, flanking uh, who? A little bit of fun pathing there. Puck, also the kind of person who would do that on purpose. Also the kind of person who do it accidentally. <laughs> you never know. So maybe you he really does do. it on purpose because he does it accidentally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta, yeah. gotta balance his range, you know. And um, then a back looking mighty little... juicy. Oh, yeah. Without the bunker there or any siege tanks. Like, yeah, he's just going to get that pick off. That was great. Um, and then, oh, oh. <laughs> what is this? Two prong blink harass. He's playing this really well. Uh, all right. I don't think he expects... The one thing is he doesn't really expect the third to be on location and that quick. Mm -hmm. So Pult exactly. isn't nearly as obligated to just move out and do damage as you would be if you weren't taking that. Yeah. Well, we can see him kind of jockeying back and forth, these two groups of stalkers. And it's like, if he were aware of that third command center being on location, he could pretty easily kind of blink in, I think, at the very least, snipe the SCV. But he just hasn't even what? thought that's what? even oh a possibility. He's trying to bait him so hard. Like, Puck is trying to... He's trying to clown on Pult a little bit. I don't know if Pult's gonna... Well, <laughs> who's the clown now? <laughs> well, there goes the prism. Hey. Thus opening a perfect counterattack opportunity with Stalkers. Yeah, Stalkers gonna do some damage here. Even picking off the medevacs with the Stalkers, this is really... Puck's doing a great this job is... here. Okay, well, here we go. Because it's just a bunch of Stalkers, though. That's still a lot of Stim Marines and Marauders, even without. There's one medevac with this. Yeah. The Blink Stalkers are in the natural. A lot of Stims, those are going to be shut down. 12 SCVs go down. There is a Disruptor oh, targeted down looking. immediately. The brute force approach from Pult. The force fields, he slips through no energy, and suddenly Pult turns it around. Yeah, when you're going for Disruptors like that, like the Stalkers are so fragile that you really need to get some hits or you're just going to lose to a fight even though you've done some good damage. It does get a Colossus out, so that's going to be a bit more stable, but uh, what's the worker count looking like? Yeah, 46 to 55 workers, even though Protoss is ahead, like, it's not as ahead as you would think. And uh, as, as well as Puck was playing that, I feel like Pult did a great job yeah. uh, just with that engagement and then handling that little bit of harass. He's There's actually no not in a bad forge. spot at all. There's no Forge from Puck. That's which very means big. an armory starting from Pult really focusing on the upgrades he's got a unit composition everybody's going back to their corners but i think puck is going to be hurting a little bit more from the punches uh, of pult as opposed to the other way around mm -hmm. you can lose 12 scvs like you got mules those are worth like 15 scvs a piece or something give or take like 10 but he was looking great puck was looking super solid and i just honestly feel like right now puck is like turtling up a bit getting the batteries getting the extra gases just now getting the double forge like i think this is the moment where like you know, you can even see Polt getting some vision out of the map with the Marines and the, the Widow Mines. Like, I think this is right where Polt, you know, it feels the most comfortable. Uh, oh, yeah. and He's feeling great right it. now. This is He's this looks like him. classic Polt. Not many people play like this anymore, or even when he was in his prime and maybe again. But the multiple medevacs on each side, just no Nexus is safe is essentially what this will come down to. We'll no see. Nexus is safe is exactly right. And we're seeing already this little contingency. Like one thing that I've noticed a lot on, on uh, when, if you look at say um, uh, Puck's vision, it's just there's no vision of what, you know, where they usually, the Protoss usually takes the third. And it's like, you can just run some units in straight to the Protoss natural. Uh, and I really feel like he's trying to go on the offensive right now, not just for a timing, but just so like, try to keep Pult back a bit because if you're sitting in your base oh, with no vision, he, it's rough. Is he going to go for the Zerg level <laughs> no. flank? I, oh, I actually no, don't know how this goes. Is. The boys are already pulled. The boys are coming. Beautiful force fields actually isolating much of this Terran army. Puck puts a wall around himself. Will Very it be wall. enough when the force fields fall? Amazing wall. He kills 19 workers. A recalling out of there is actually such a smart move. He turned that into what looked like he was about to lose his entire army into, oh, that was actually a pretty good uh, exchange. Yeah, those force fields landing. He needed to land every single one because any Marines and Marauders getting through were going to really, like, he's going to lose the Colossus and a lot of a lot of his uh, mm -hmm. gateway units. But perfect timing on the recall as well. 
That'll buy time for his 1-1, which will draw him within one upgrade. Polk getting a plus two. Very diligent for a Terran player to be ahead in upgrades so solidly is pretty rare. So even though Polk took a, a bit of a hit there and he lost some SCVs, he's still close to maxing out, so he's going to have a big army. Yeah, and we're seeing that Puck is trying to get some map prisons back with map vision with the Zealots. He's going to cancel that fourth, and we're going to see how he's going to react to this because this is where, you know, Polk's going to work his magic. He's going to run those little marine marauders in. See what he can do. Snipe some nexuses, you know, for the fans. For the fans and also for whoever's putting up money for the show match, which for we have yet to determine. And for the bands. Easy money. Yes, that. Now, the big weakness of Pult, uh, we're going to keep saying historically, because this is like the first time he's played a, a, a pretty serious show match since he's come back, was eventually, if they defended well enough, Marine Marauder isn't going to cut it. You need a mm -hmm. little bit something more. And Legacy of the Void makes that incredibly true. Ranged Liberators are definitely something more. So it's good to see Pult's not 100% reliant on, like, base trade bio. Yep, absolutely. It's also a little bit of a scary positioning for this fusion core and the, the tech lab researching. I don't think it's going to matter, but, you know, sometimes you get a run by in there. And then Puck's coming in from multiple angles here. Looks like he's not going to do much damage from the south side. We're playing uh, two different games at once here, or...? <laughs> As there are two major armies engaging on both sides of the map simultaneously. Yeah. I think this is better for Pult most of the time, though. His units are more cost-effective in low numbers. I also think that Puck might have been expecting another base down on the, the, the left-hand side, but I got to say, it's pretty weird seeing him play this almost like Marine Marauder. Like, this oh, is no. how Pult wants to play with his mix, but... Okay, we're going to rejoin back in the middle, see if this Widow Mine <laughs> can, can keep keep shooting some shots. Got one, one kill so far. Advanced Ballistics done. The Ranged Liberator is going to isolate some area of the map. Sensor Tower helping a little. And, okay. well, Tempests are already on the way, so everybody's comfortably teching up while still uh, seeing if the others, other is going to make a mistake. Mm-hmm, definitely. And there's, like, only one Tempest on the way, which is kind of tricky when there's three Liberators because they could really start adding up quickly. And if they manage to get into a Siege position... You know, if you have nine Liberators, they can tank, you know, sh shots from you know, two or three Tempests for quite a while. So it can be kind of a tricky situation, almost like when uh, Zerg gets a bunch of Broodlords out. And if you don't have enough production to get those Tempests, you can be in a bit of trouble. But we'll see how, you know, if I've ever seen anyone play it well with, like, Link Stalker, it's going to be Puck, so we'll see what yeah. he does. War Prism comes in, immediately shut down by some reinforcements, but the Prism survives, which means at any point... The Puck's caught out on the map. The Liberators are encroaching. I think yeah, the most accurate is, word. This is scary, and Puck's doing, uh, Bolt is doing a great job of keeping some bio on the side to stop the runaround. He's actually just going to stim on this right now. He's doing this really well. Good force field, though. He's always uh, great, but, and the charge lops in the back in the main from the War Prism. Puck, Pult is ooh. gonna pull the base trade trigger. He can't, he can't recall those Marines and Marauders. Oh, yeah. here we go. Storm, 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 storm. Oh. Oh. I mean, not bad, you know, sorry. See, not too many medevacs, but we'll see what it comes to that. Okay. Not many marines either. The Tempests are going to do a pretty decent job. I this, feel like this is actually he's base trading not a Terran. I, I have no idea. Like the bio army is going to wreck everything outside the natural. He's got enough Tempest. He's going to bring the Tempest back. Maybe? I, I don't know. Say, I don't mind this for Puck. Recall? He doesn't care. That's not enough. Thing. That's not enough no, units. not though. enough. He can just, this is so okay. So the Pult just going through the army at the third. He doesn't even see the fourth yet, which is pretty big for Pult. He can drop some mules That's there. Very big. I think I like Puck's spot. I think with a bit of a bank, he's going to be oh. able to uh, piece something together here. I, I, I'm liking this for Puck. I think he's got the game. I think Templar could secure it. Pult is losing. He's bleeding out a lot of his units here. The thing is, without Templar, his army can still get jumped by a bunch of bio. And the upgrades are 3-2 against 2-2, two, two, so, and it's plus two ship weapons, which I don't think two-shot stalkers, if they have armor upgrades, I'm not sure the exact math. The only thing you can't do is go up a ramp into Liberators. If you do that, no, that's going to be bad. Not. Yeah, this is, this is actually kind of mm. looking like pull a little bit spread too thin, a little bit uncommitted on the other side of the map. No ghosts. To deal with the no storm ghost. and didn't even no know ghost. those were the first templar right the first templar on the field i might be i wasn't really paying too much attention but i think you might be right on that yeah i think that just the wall of storm that hit early on took too much momentum out 
Now, mm-hmm. if there's anyone known for comebacks, <laughs> you're looking at him. This is your boy, Pult. He has I... all the units and tools. He has the economy. This is by no means over. But and and Puck has been known to outplay himself on occasion. I gotta say that's very true. I also think though, at the very north, that being an orbital instead of a planetary is gonna cost Pult a lot right now. Yeah, he's. Seen I him. think it's looking rough, man. I think I think Puck's closing it out pretty well. He might get this army too. Oh, oh. Pult, that's a lot to lose as well. That's yes. the bio that gave him any threat on the map. Oh no. That's looking like that. He can just sneak into the production here, maybe hit the natural. Oh, Doesn't we'll really see. matter I what he hits say. now. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of liberators, actually. Oh, but the Tempests. No, oh, there it is. The fusion core goes down. I don't, oh, he doesn't no, need the fusion core anymore. But, uh, what about his battle cruiser transition? <laughs> that would be helpful. About that. Yeah, this is looking pretty over here. Uh, but... Eh. M- Never know with mules and Pult, which I recently found out were nerfed since Wings of Liberty. What is this? What is this, Puck? He's putting three pylons on the map. Get those batteries built up. Might be uh, not really necessary, but you never know. I mean, why not? Puck's been a little trolley all night. Yeah, he might not even realize how far ahead he is right now. 32 workers for, uh, for Pult. I mean... If there are any more than like two liberators, you gotta respect it. Every Protoss has been like, no, I can take that. Blinks and the stalkers, they couldn't take that. All right. No, you absolutely, absolutely easy mistake to make. But Pult is bleeding out on all yeah. fronts. These Tempests he- are gonna win the game by themselves, I think. I would have liked to see one or two liberators just sent out to try to keep Puck busy at the very least, and at the mm-hmm. best, kill a dozen or so probes at, at these yep. bases, deny mining but Puck kept the uh, aggressive defense going a lot of this game. Yeah, he's just been playing really well, I think. There was a few moments where it looked a little iffy when he was behind on upgrades, didn't have a... Well, here comes the vision. three medevac dream base trade. If he snipes every Nexus, he can't recall. So uh, yeah, consider that. Yeah, not wrong at all. Nothing in production for Pult. This is the dream. Is recall off cooldown? The hope yes. is alive. He recalled to the third. I think this might be closing it out. This might no, be the end. No plus one shields for you? Oh, nice, no Nice warfare. pylon snipe. Gonna get the robo as well. And two Gs. GG. I, I do feel like Pult did, did have the issue of... Uh, Trying to get so much da- like he he overextended, with with ranged liberators you don't have to commit your full army. That's part of the the, I guess strength of ranged liberators. Obviously, mm-hmm. uh, as you can have enough defenses at home and you can commit them out. That's the perfect time to do the medevacs or or maybe like a medevac liberator drop. But having losing map vision and then running in the storm is never a great com- uh, combination. So. Puck maneuvering no. well enough to finally find a mistake. All right. Very true. Did a very good job that game. I feel like he was very far ahead and kind of lost a little bit and then um, won it pretty well, <laughs> just playing well. Yeah. There was a moment when I feel like trying to do blink stalkers from two sides and warp prism micro, and then he just kind of lost the warp prism. Yep. I was expecting that too, because you were like, oh, he's trying to bait him. And I was like, yeah, I think he's just going to lose it <laughs> in my head. It's like, that's the oh, ultimate yeah. bait, is now he's going to attack because there's no warp prism. <laughs> this is like patience, I think, making like four warp prisms in a game. And it's just like, oh, you've sniped two of my warp prisms? Surely you expect there are none left, but no, there's still another two or three. Apparently, it's a best of five, according to Puck, but he's uh, making the maps. So we'll see. All right. Hopefully not a best of one. Everybody knows that's the most competitive format. That's why it's on the ladder. Mm-hmm. Very true. Best of 17. Best of 69. Yeah. I mean, Puck, Polt is playing from Korea. Uh, Pol- Puck from the beautiful, the great state of North Dakota. Um, I believe is where he is right now. 
Uh, him and the other four people who have internet in North Dakota. Yep. It's a good number. That, that way you don't have to share all the bandwidth. Yeah. Get it through the one internet tube in, at the general store. <laughs> <laughs> Why do they get two Dakotas? All right. Doesn't seem fair. Don't need them. You don't have a North and South Canada. Isn't it all just North <laughs> Canada? Like, we just have Canada there's like America. the South we'll Canada where it's essentially America light for the 50 kilometers of above America and then it's just yep. ice, right? That's, that's the prime that's zone, cool. dude. I feel like we have like Alaska territory. It's like either like Alaska or it's like America. I mean, Alaska is America. But yeah, yeah, so we got both. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. what you're saying is it's either like America or like America. It's like America. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. The true north. The real north. The inhospitable mm -hmm. north that no one wants to live in. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Pretty good. I'm, I'm messing. I don't know what happened. I think Pultz is doing something. That's all I know. He's looking up strats on... He's, he's looking up my guides, all right? Tool. Yeah. He's getting some coaching from me, actually. <laughs> We're on a private call. <laughs> on a private... You're really good at multitask. I'm not bad, dude. <laughs> Masters one. Masters one. Pretty serious business. Next up is GM. All right. That's right. That's. The I mean, one. isn't Masters one more impressive than GM? Because GM, like, there are 200 slots, but Masters one is just a percentage. Yeah, that's pretty true. I so mean, like, I think you could have if like... there were 190 players, everybody could be GM, but not everybody well, could be too. Masters one. If I look at me, I'm Masters one rank three. If someone's like, yes. oh, I'm Grandmaster oh, wow. rank I'm ranked 50. Eight. You're way better. Yeah, exactly. I'm number three. You're number eight. Pretty good. If someone's like, oh, I'm Grandmaster number 150, it's like, you're garbage, dude. Yeah. You're 150. 150. I'm third. What, what I really, what, what the trouble is with getting GM occasionally, as I do, uh, is when you drop nice. out of GM, it puts you in a different division of Masters, and you don't have as many ladder points. So that oh. way your rank goes down, and then you become worse. Oh well, yeah. I don't. It's better to just to not get GM you. and have a high rank. Everybody I don't mean that. to alarm you, but also Estrella is actually in my Masters League. Yeah. Uh, I just is he lower rank? Uh, he is actually lower rank. He has 6,500 MMR, but he's rank 16. So I don't mean to say it, but I am technically better than Estrella. Higher rank than Estrella is what I should That's say. That's not what you're saying. You're just stating facts. Yeah, I'm just saying how it is. Pult's been reviewing his replay games until he corrects mistakes, and at some point, Pult will become the ultimate human and not make any mistakes. Hmm. Also, Pult, uh, actually, I believe he's 31 now. 30, 31. Really? Given hope to, uh, like, I've always thought the reason why almost no pro gamers are over 30 is, one, because of how young esports is, and two, because there hasn't been the infrastructure. Like, you don't have, you didn't have team houses, and like physical therapists and all the things that keep you from getting carpal tunnel in a real job up until the last few years. Really. Well, it's just like no one over 35 knows how to use a computer except for white raw. <laughs> that is true. Yeah, so that's it. I, I, I gotta I gotta put my one my white raw story in there uh, where uh -oh. BlizzCon or two ago, uh, six in the morning, I'm at an IHOP uh, with white raw. And uh, Tempo is passed nice. out next to me. Nice. Um, but he's like, we need to get, we need to get some food. And so we got some food at IHOP. We went in, it was dark. We came out, it was light. That's the BlizzCon experience. <laughs> wow. So generous. BlizzCon. What a journey. What a journey. Oh yeah, who won that? I think a Rogue won. I don't know. <laughs> nice. Who cares? Who won? Who who ate the most pancakes? Is the real question. Yeah. I don't. I think. I think me. Maybe me. Probably me. Good for you. Good for, you. <laughs> Good for me. Yeah, you're probably Grandmaster at IHOP. It's <laughs> yeah. I don't have a good joke for that. Something butter yeah. my pancakes. Okay. Nice. Maple yeah. syrup? Oof. Mm. Make it in my backyard. No problem. <laughs> Got some maple trees. Uh, we actually don't where I live on the West Coast. Isn't there? I, I watched a, a documentary about how there's like a, a maple cartel or something. A syrup cartel, um, and they control the market or something silly. One time there was a story where someone had like a tanker of, uh, not a tanker, just like a 16-wheeler uh, tanker of uh, maple syrup, 
and they parked it overnight and then some people heisted the whole thing and they like siphoned all the maple syrup out and then they're like yeah we just had 16,000 or like 160,000 liters of maple syrup uh stolen you know the other day uh what do we do and then the insurance companies were like how did someone steal very slowly thousand liters of maple syrup and they're like i don't know like a bucket <laughs> they just didn't Where know did so they then they're it? like another i have tank. no idea they just heisted it like i would also think like people would be suspicious they're like someone's like hey yeah do you want to buy some maple syrup it's like oh, oh, yeah. okay i'll get some maple syrup oh, that's like, some yeah, sticky business why is it in a tanker like, <laughs> I don't... Like, I, do you want the syrup or not stop asking questions yeah and he's like you at ihop <laughs> and you're like okay i guess i'll have it and you're like oh yeah you better have it I don't think I have some of buying uh, aftermarket maple syrup. Aftermarket <laughs> maple syrup, a Canadian classic. <laughs> Not even actually from Quebec. Okay, mm -hmm. <laughs> milk in a bag <laughs> and syrup <laughs> in a tanker. Is there a more iconic duo? Toronto and traffic. Yeah, that's a good one. I've I've only been to Toronto once. I've and been to I Toronto was... once, and I never want to drive there again. Oh no. I, I just oh, don't what a play. The BM recall. If he had gotten the SUV and gotten out. Oh, oh did we he... didn't do it. Oh, I messed up. Oh, no. If you what? go over three minutes, you've reached one tastosis. All right. If you go over three minutes without saying anything about the game, that you've reached a full tastosis. Oh, that's good. That's a good. That's we a good almost made it. I screwed it up. I apologize wow. to uh, the men. I, I feel like the we, go back life to the game. we go back to the game. We go back and, to the and, game. You got to do the tasteless transition. It's like, and it looks like the adept just shading in here. Just no acknowledgement that we just talked about <laughs> maple syrup heisting for three minutes there. And depth shading in here. No bunker at the front. Going to get maybe an SCV kill. Or a mule. <gasps> Did you see how he hid that mule inside what a, the what other a mule? What a player. That is a, a pult, pult move. Although I just remember pult prime. But I guess not and then anymore. for the one really? season after he won GSO, he was Optimus Prime. Oh, was he? What? Yeah. There was <laughs> a, no Maru was on the team, and everybody thought Maru was gonna win. And, and there was like a, a meme about how the winner would change their name to Optimus Prime. Oh. And the person yes. who was least likely to keep that name was definitely Paul. Like, I gotta. Yeah, definitely true. Definitely true. All right. Well, that mule that took some damage is gonna die. That's just very goes sad. To show. Don't we all just take some damage and then eventually die? Yeah, it just goes to show. <laughs> Metaphor for life. Yeah. Well, we don't talk about that. Yeah. All right. Three racks on the way. Well. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> I need Bolt to give me some build orders for life, man. Give me some scheduling. Get me back on track. Join the South Korean military. Oh, no. I'm well, becoming a one. CB. Oh, All right, and a, what? Is that just one immortal? The best thing need. since two immortals in a war. Oh my prism. god, he's gonna snipe Stim. This oh, was geez. the greatest move of why, all time. Why even get Blink Stalkers when you could just get an immortal in a prism? No, why did he kill what it? What a save! What a save! What are you doing, Puck? He, oh I think god, he could have had it. You could have committed. I would. You give an immortal for that. Oh, look at look at Pult with the place. Then Puck just flies away. Oh no. Pult overthinking it. <laughs> oh, this like, immortal's gonna. What is this other immortal doing? He's oh, so good. the full combination. He's reached maximum power. Captain Protoss has arrived. <gasps> Wait, he's going to ludicrous speed. And you know what I mean by that? War, War prism, prism speed. speed. There oh it is. <laughs> oh, oh the stim. Back. It's not done yet. Get he's it. coming. He's coming Get back it. for it. He got oh, it. Oh my god. What the puck? Dude, uh, nerf Protoss, dude. They should put the tech labs on the other side. There should be a rotate <laughs> button for the buildings like Command and Conquer. That technology isn't there yet. Right, that would be too hard. Oh, but the four Marines, I must not trade. They're going for two. Oh. Oh, <laughs> the no. elite what, pulse just... squadron gets two sentry. And they just walked across the map to do that too. They were trying to intercept well, that warp prism. Oh, like, the hey, scouting hey, colossus. Oh, no. But don't worry, it was actually a bait colossus because here comes the first. Okay, what a game. Insane. What a what game. What is he doing? Puck is both the best and worst Protoss player. There's so many the things that go wrong with this, but so many things that like, for, he's playing for such a small advantage with such high risk maneuvers. This is but like he makes a, it work. 
This is like a overly dramatic cliche. It's like, first I put the maple syrup in the tanker, and then they stole the maple syrup, and then when they stole the maple syrup, really, they ingested it, and that activated the tracking device I put inside <laughs> each bit of maple syrup. And therefore, I knew where they lived, and I could target advertising until they bought all the stock to my company. And then, well, except for with uh, with Puck, he just kind of loses half of the plan, and nothing works unless it does. <laughs> oh, so. no. I tried to tie. That's called oh. a callback, but he didn't use a recallback because he didn't have enough energy. I'm trying oh, too God. hard. <laughs> Moving on. There goes the Viking. You're rolling, dude. <laughs> yeah, man. It's like honestly, and it's like. Two, whole two immortals in a warp prism on the other side. Oh my god, they are. There's so much stuff going on. Gonna get again. Oh, oh, wait, how did he know? How did he know which one? Hex. What? Oh, and then he starts Stim on the other one. That's three denies. Puck you is know, too good, man. That was insane. You know what they say about three denies that quickly? What? You're a great offlaner. Wow. Yeah. How do you, do you just have these? Do you just have these ready to go? Are these pre-written? Yeah, <laughs> these, were, how do you come I, up with this? Literally stuff? my job. All right. Oh, we impressive. do it live. I thought it was my job, but I guess not. <laughs> Don't worry. There's room for both of us. Thank you. Just thinking about how I can sell some uh, black Merch. market maple syrup. <laughs> I know. With my real crew. Oh no! Oh. The warp prism days wait. are numbered. Who's flanking who? And this is how most of Puck's war prisms end up. Wait. Oh my god! Puck is the greatest player on earth, dude. He gets away with the prism. This is... <laughs> and he gets both the portals out. Oh, oh he stole god. the maple syrup and sold it too. I... He shouldn't have gotten away with the prism, at least. And if he, he would have he would have killed the prism if it weren't for those meddling recalls. Oh my! The cooldown on recall so is pretty short too. Like, yeah, the recall. Is I like short. how the. I was like, wow. Do you know the nerf they did to it? They made it a no. smaller radius but less oh, cooldown. It's like, well, oh, now since I only need one warp prism and two immortals, I'll always be covered. Yeah, I gotta say, recall pretty crazy. I think you should be able to recall anywhere on the map. Like you can recall and then. <laughs> well, choose if you where you if you're Florencio and you just build a nexus, <laughs> like. I don't... That disruptor just annihilated what? a single marine. <laughs> is that? A, I'm pretty sure his robo rally point is just mid map, and he just faced. <laughs> yeah, that sounds pretty accurate. Okay, there's this, so okay. many things. He's juggling more than like th this is a whole one man act here. Okay, Polt moving his whole army down to get these zelts and stalkers. Okay, he's also got the marines on the bottom, not doing anything yet. They could do something. When they decide to do something, something. They could either do something or not do something. If they decide Thank to you. do something, they might do some damage. But they also might not. That is <laughs> yeah. how Starcraft works. Way gentlemen. to commit. <laughs> he still doesn't have stim. <laughs> oh my god. They just want their drugs. Oh, how do geez. drugs make you shoot faster? That's a good question, actually. It's like, why Maybe don't they, they just, just have automatic weapons? Like, I, I think they experience time faster. I think that's and then, what Or does everybody else experience time slower? Yeah, that's that's why it used to be the Blizzard replay feature. You had to play the game on faster because everyone was on Steam at all time. And that's why they removed Time Warp, because then it would break the lore. <laughs> it, just, it just wouldn't work with most people's CPUs at the time. <laughs> it's just <laughs> incompatible. <laughs> what if Time Warp just slowed down the rest of the Oh, this is... Okay. How did these units all get out here? Puck is now has to decide what he's going to recall and whether it'll die to the Marauders before it can fire. I'm liking, uh, I'm liking Polt's positioning here. He's moving these Marines and Marauders. He's doing some Nexus sniping. He gains energy every time he does that. His power level goes up <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Yeah, and imagine how good it'll be once his stim is done. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, fine, finally he's done. Oh, my God. What are the upgrades? The upgrades are so bad for... Uh, Puck. Puck, Puck sometimes struck me as, you know, like, uh, two speed prisms are better than one. You never know which one was the one from before. It's, it's one of those ones where he's like, yeah, I'm going to put two Colossus in two different warp prisms and make disruptors And then well, I have four Colossus, and that's map. my whole army. He, and he's like, I'm going to do that instead of getting upgrades. And you're like, that doesn't sound good, but I guess it's working. It's it's like that Indiana Jones uh, scene where he, like, flips around the sword a bunch, and it's like, all that. And then Harrison Ford just shoots him in the face. Like, 
Uh, yeah. That's puck a lot of the time. <laughs> that definitely, I definitely see it. But he is up 1-0, so you got to give credit where credit's due. He is Sometimes he has a lightsaber and deflects the bullet and then starts fancy dancing across the map. Well, this, I mean. Oh, my God. The prisms just that... got annihilated. <laughs> There's the gun. All right. Oh, wait. Oh, no. So. Oh. And that gets a full zealot with that disruptor. If Paul would just use that one medevac in the bottom, I'd be so happy. There's, he's got medevacs all over the place now. It Puck has so a very cool. complicated defense on every side. And Puck, I mean, Pult has the classic, like, two, three medevacs. Bunch of bio, great upgrades. Oh, there's a liberator outside the fourth base. Well, slash fit. Yeah, just, just chilling. This is so confusing to me. I could never play like this. It really is controlled chaos, if you control it. Like, and he's not yeah. in control, but he might be in control. Yeah, uh, there you go, got him. What's going on here? Okay, there's one marine. He's, okay, he's <laughs> I love the whole position. He's like, I will stand at the watchtower. You must all go <laughs> everywhere else. Oh my god, there's some widow mines in the middle. No one ever attacks <laughs> through the middle. That would be too obvious. Well, good thing they're blocked by the bushes. Yeah. And you can't see them. God, this is so confusing. I always love the little mind games of Widow Mind placements behind things. Like brick yeah, sensor tower, good. sensor, uh, the orbital dishes. That's a lot of liberators. That's a lot and of they liberators. have range. Where did they come from? Captain America is back and he's liberating the North Dakotan Protoss. It's Dakota. Oh, Dakota. Everything. Oh my everything god. The top gets bopped though. Nine kills. And... Oh, good blink. Oh, good positioning here. Look at that. Uh, is it? Yeah, great. You killed a lot of liberators uh, right it, there. Is it? No? I'm, I'm sorry. It? We talked about in control, so I have to throw that out there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I get it. Is it? But 3-2 versus 1-2. But disruptors yeah. don't really care. No, they Neither don't. Neither do Templar. Coming out. What? It feels like we're playing. All these games feel like two or three games are being played by Puck and 1-2 to two by Pult simultaneously yeah i don't even know what's going on here and then this plant coming in oh my god oh oh that was almost really sick and then uh, how many like me. they're both at huge economies five six bases i didn't wait five 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 bases. what's that in production tab for pulled two battle cruisers the oh ultimate weapon god. you know what splash damage doesn't counter <laughs> battle cruisers. and they move while shooting Amazing. That's the technology perfect. is finally there Imbalance. in 2019. I think they should be able to shoot while teleporting. Like, I think they should teleport, and then everything along that line of fire should take significant damage. They the should teleport like should charge up at hard and then just jump. Anything in its path should get instantly obliterated. I think that's what should happen. So, Puck is trying to bait him into a fight. There's a ranged liberator up at that north side denying a full base. Puck. Oh, oh, whoa. Oh, oh, oh wow. Wow. Ow. Oh, wow. Ow. I have great commentary. Um, so that hit really hard. That was really good. He got a lot of the Liberators, too. And then... Oh, he's going to get his base another time. Puck is looking great. He's playing these games fantastically. Like, I can't understand what's going it's on. It's all coming together, great. it seems. Or at least, like, it's fallen apart enough that Pult isn't able to keep up. Where are the battle... Is he just building up the battle cruisers? No, they're just chilling. It, how many stalkers are there? 19. That's enough. I don't know. That's definitely enough. He's got a big ship weapon, but uh, I guess I definitely got to say it's looking pretty pretty puck right now. Another storm. A planetary kills a disruptor. Bolt is losing on all fronts, but puck, he's but he's not losing fronts. outright. The liberator was finally dead. cleaned up. He is dying. He's gonna be on top of where the battle troops are coming out from soon, too. Very important. Okay, now if, now if you're gonna jump the cruisers, it's it's time. But he can counter recall. No, he just taps it out. But we didn't even wow. get to see a Yamato Pult. Well, Puck Sweet. takes a 2 0 yeah, lead. Puck is, Puck is slaying, man. He's playing really good games. He's a fire dancer. Alright. Looks good. Until you get burned, but he kept himself out of the fire that time. <laughs> he did. Man, 2-0? <laughs> oh? oh, he had a 33-kill disruptor. Monsignor Scotty the Boulder.
Scotty with 10 Marines, 15 Marauders, and 8 SCVs. What is that? 30, 40, 48 supply killed by one Disruptor. So in which uh, fa Fab in my chat says he could have won if he used the medevac at the bottom. I agree. He didn't use it the whole game. Thank just you, Twitch there. chat. That's what we were asking for. So. Or is Holt collecting himself? He's watching the replay. Yeah. What's he doing? Is he doing that? <laughs> I don't know. If only there were a way All to right. find out. He's uh, made a map. New repugnancy. So uh, we just got to work our way in there. Okay. As we get to the countdown, I'm going to run and get some water and be right okay. back. Be quick. But j just just when we do the countdown. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, oh yeah. Because I don't want to leave now because I might yeah, miss the invitation. You know? Bum, 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 bum. Except. Okay, here we go. I'll be right back. Time him, boys. Yeah, Puck's style is just... It was very close to being too much in both these games, but he's keeping it together long enough. That... It really does feel like it could it could fall the other way if, if Paul made a, a big move or if he overextended a little. Yeah, the snipe was uh, a bit much. How many uh, stims? Two, three stims. <laughs> we'll see. I think Polt needs to use a few more tanks as well. He's really, I don't think he's built any Whittle Mines or, well, he's built Whittle Mines, but he hasn't built tanks. Just that's the solution. I'm just gonna be like, Pult, build a good unit, and then you'll win. So, mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you. 5k like... MMR, <laughs> random player. I feel like he's getting a little too carried away with trying to do like multi prong stuff, the same way that like Puck sometimes does. Like almost in every single game, there's been moments where if he just converged his entire army and just like attack move with better upgrades, he might have been able to take the game. And I feel like going for the big fancy like three medevacs over here, three medevacs over here. Not Might even that fancy, stupid. but it's kind of just like a worse version of what Puck is doing. And exactly. That's why yep. It yep. it doesn't go as well. It do, it does feel like, uh, if Pol like if Puck slipped a little, or if Polt did something like that, where he just really committed at the right time. In game one, he didn't commit at the right time. That's what it came down to. Like he was true, he didn't yeah. have good vision. But if he was a little bit more decisive with the range liberators coming out, stuff like that. But, yeah, Puck is like over here playing, like, a full three-lane MOBA game with, like, a War Prism here and, like, a Colossus three Templar and a Disruptor down here. Like, I don't know. Yeah, it's very true. Pretty... <clears throat> Honestly, his his playstyle is so wacky. But it's just, a lot of he fun. But he's just such a, such a good... He's just so solid, you know? Like, in a weird way, I can't believe it looks so weird, but it, it's so consistent and so good. It, it's... Before... It's either ahead of or behind its time, but I'm not... It's one of the two. And yeah, it's almost the polar opposite of Neeb, who's probably the only better North American Protoss right now. Yeah, I gotta say, like, you watch, especially Puck, like, from his first person view, I've seen him do, like, double Archon jobs where he's microing both at the same time and then shade some Adepts in. And I'm watching it, I'm thinking, like, man, is this what it takes to be, like, one of the best players in North America? I could never do this. This is so insane. And then I watch Neeb, and I'm like, oh, well, okay. like, obviously Neeb is insanely good, but I'm like, what he's doing is actually... To me, like, <laughs> makes sense. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, okay. There's still maybe some hope one day. The dream yeah. is still alive. Yeah. I, I asked Neeb uh, about the Max Packs build, which has been all the rage for like a week. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, as Psy Storm. And I'm like, so, do you think the Max Packs is good? He's like, no, it's dumb. I'm like, but people like Parting use it in GSL. He's like, no, it's a dumb build. People will counter it. I'm like, all right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's just, he just won't even cheese. Because it's like, well, eventually it'll be countered, so why not just play solid macro? Whereas Puck is over here with double prism drop, like, immortals, and... 
But that's the thing. It's like this stuff that Puck does will never be countered. Like I was watching him play a game against Jim Rising and Jim Rising went for Mutas and he went for four Warp Prism Archon. So he had eight, <laughs> eight Archons in Speed Prisms chasing down 20 Mutalists across the map. And that's like not a thing that like Koreans will be like, oh, you know, this is the new meta. And then people are going to figure it out. It's like, what is this? What is this madman doing? And it's so bizarre. <laughs> Full that it's never not. It's never not going to like work. Except unless uh, he, well, uh, the best counter to Puck is himself. It's yeah. like you don't know, no one's going to counter it, but you don't even know if it's good. Like, that's the thing with a lot of this stuff. Is it? Is it even optimal? It's not even, is it viable? Is this well, optimal? When Puck it plays it, it, anything's viable. It's so oh. true. Well, oh, you no. might get a couple oh. of cities here. Oh, oh. No. JK no. just gets one. All right, what's the tech coming in here? I'm time to look at the production tab. Yeah, that's it. like if you got nothing else to say, just default to reading the production tab and narrating it. For oh, Paul, a little bit of a miscalc. If he had hit oh, a nade, oh. he would have killed the adept. So sad. So sad. Too bad. Yeah, the best counter to Puck is apparently <laughs> cannon rushing. Print out with a 5 4. Picked the wrong race, Bolt. <laughs> Rookie mistake. Special did beat Puck uh, 4 to 1 yesterday. Oh, okay. Pick the wrong server, buddy. On the same server. Wait, but oh yeah, okay, right. On the West US server from Korea. Where does Bolt live? Does he live in Korea? He lives in Korea as well. I don't he doesn't live at the uh team house thing, but oh. Special oh. plays a, a uh more direct style. Like it, it has it's it's like a, a mashed potatoes with a bit of flair, as opposed to Puck's like I don't know, evaporated potatoes that you breathe in while uh, the butter is drizzled onto your hand and then you put your hand and lick it or something. I don't know. That's a weird and oddly that, specific. That is a very odd and weird And visual. Analogy. However, I was trying to figure out what I was going to eat after this stream. And <laughs> so it might give just it a shot. Mashed potatoes. mashed potatoes and maple syrup. Those are pucked potatoes. All right. All right that's perfect. All right, so we got a <laughs> robo on the way. <laughs> <laughs> there you and, go, uh, you did Puck it. Making his way across the map with four stalkers, blink about halfway done. Uh, but I don't know if he's going to be able to get much damage done here. What do you think, Winter? Well, I think that Pult has uh, another barracks. He's got his stem, plus one. Uh, Starport finishing up. Reactor as well, getting his third gas. Adding on some SCVs. He's got 39 workers to 44. What do you think about this? Um, well, what I'm seeing right now, 30, 40 SCVs. What what I'm thinking is this is just pretty standard play from both sides. You know, usually Protoss might be getting a third up now, um, but it looks like he is going to be adding in that robotics oh, bay. Oh, and oh. Uh, he's going to have to repair that bunker. Uh, well, he didn't, so this is a problem. I don't... <laughs> what? Why didn't he repair the bunker? Uh -oh. He's actually going to do a lot of damage to these stalkers. There's no Pult, stim no, yet. You're gonna lose the game. Oh, Pult, no. you're gonna lose the game. No, not Pult, like no. this. Losing like it's 2012. I don't know. <laughs> the classic no bunker repair into dying to blank no, stalkers. Pult. Not like this. Oh, those marauders were real committed. Oh god. Pull the boys! At some point pull the boys! Oh That's a rough way to go. Oh my god, no. All right, well, I feel like I leveled up my commentary there. I channeled some inner... Yeah, you really took... Like, that game was a bit of a throwback, you know? and you threw it back. I threw it back. Thank you. I threw it back, man. I'm ba I'm good at backing it up. You know what I'm saying? I got the moves. I know what's going on. I'm learning. Yeah. I'm, I'm learning how to cast as I go. Yeah, and but, but an important part of, like, doing it live is... Wait, what what is your name in game? Um, Please subscribe. Uh, yeah, there you go. All right, guys. So, uh, you heard it here first. <laughs> I've been fooled, but in the right way. I completely agree. Good. Yeah, good. Yeah, completely. Yeah, you know, he, 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 always the right time to subscribe. Please. Thank you for explaining to me or that winter. to everyone. Or YouTube. Anywhere that you're watching this or listening to this. Subscribe.